38th Fire Service Recognition Day. Celebrating a heritage of honor, service, and valor. Every December 14 of each year, the Bureau of Fire Protection celebrates a Fire Service Recognition Day to commemorate that one fateful morning in 1973 when firefighters not just from Metro Manila but from nearby provinces as well bravely fought that fire that happened at the Muralco Rocco Power Plant in Bel Air, Makati City. Based on the accounts of the Chief of Makati Fire Department, Colonel Alfredo Garcia, you know, is the big uh, boom. So when I uh, went out, I saw a big smoke coming down. That's, that's why I called up my uh, central fire station to find out and to immediately proceed to the sound where it sounded. So that we will know immediately what caused the big uh, bomb. When I called up the fire station, uh, I told them that there is fire occurring. So immediately you have to send over the fire to put out the fire. Besides calling all the substation, I even called up my friend. Chief Knight of uh, Subic, I uh, told him about the fire and then if he can send over and help me put out the fire. He answered in an airplane with some chemical, but it is not enough to put out that kind of big fire. I called up all my substation to immediately proceed outside the building so that they can protect the houses outside the Rockwell. In that way, they can stop the fire from going around. Although the fire was extinguished 23 hours later, three firefighters, namely Lieutenant Jose Fabicon, Fireman Domingo Viray, and Fireman Fructuoso Planas, who were inside the burning structure when the pile of bunker fuel inside the power plant exploded, failed to come out alive. Meron kong kaming bumberong namatay tatlo. Malapit siya dun sa tanking binubomba niya. Karoon na explosion, boom, nabakasan siya. As a result of the explosion, several vehicles, including seven fire trucks, positioned along the road, were reached by the blast and were destroyed. Firefighters and civilians were either killed or injured. This is the most destructive fire incident that the country ever experienced, which prompted the late President Ferdinand E. Marcos to order Executive Secretary Alejandro Melchor to issue Proclamation Number 1312 declaring December 14 of every year as Fire Service Recognition Day to honor the important role of Filipino firefighters in saving lives and property, sometimes sacrificing their lives in the process. The 38th Fire Service Recognition Day is a fitting tribute to the men and women of the Bureau of Fire Protection who serve their communities with courage and a compromising devotion to humanity. This year, BFP awards deserving BFP firefighters with medals in recognition of their exemplary performance of duty and consistent display of skills, sincerity, leadership and commitment in carrying out their sworn tasks. Bureau of Fire Protection personnel of Santa Maria Fire Station, Santa Maria Bulacan, led by their Municipal Fire Marshal, Senior Inspector Fernando B. Clemente, were instrumental in the rescue of three persons who were repairing and painting the inside wall of an old 10-meter-high water tank at Gulo, Barangay Poblacion, of said municipality on June 15, 2011. The three workers could have died of suffocation if 
not for the immediate response to the team of Senior Inspector Clemente. Such heroic act merited them a medalya ng kadakilaan. A similar incident happened in General Santos City, which earned a medalya ng kadakilaan for acting City Fire Marshal, Senior Inspector Rinel M. Bologna, and BFP personnel from General Santos City Fire Station. On May 2, 2011, they were able to rescue four unconscious victims who were inside a 50 feet high overhead tent. Medalya ng Kadakilaan are awarded to BFP personnel of Compostela Fire Station, Robins of Compostela Valley, led by Inspector Carlos D. Gallego, for their swift response in rescuing residents of Port of 9 and 10, Barangay Poblacion, Compostela Valley including an 8-day-old baby from a raging flash flood incident on January 3, 2011 due to the overflowing of the Batuto River. With the onslaught of flash floods due to the continuous rainfall from February 3 to 7, 2011 in the province of Sulu, BFE personnel of Hulo Fire Station, led by its chief, Inspector Idris Y. Sajail, are awarded with Medalya ng Kadakilaan. For the assistance they extended in the rescue, evacuation, and recovery operations of around 4,700 families in Holo and nearby municipalities. FO3 Carlito Canapi is awarded with Medalya ng Kadakilaan for helping a teacher whose bag was notched in Green Heights Subdivision ng Ka Marikina City. The suspect riding a motorcycle was pursued and cornered by FO3 Canapi after the suspect tried to run on foot since his motorcycle was starred. FO1 Kirby I. Nazareno and FO1 Socrates D. Ojeda of a slow fire station rescued a teenager from drowning at Mabinay Spring Resort, Mabinay Negros Oriental. Luckily, both fire officers were in the vicinity because both were attending classes for their master's degree in the same resort. Hence, Medalya ng Kadakilaan is awarded to them. FO2 Rizaldi N. Puche and FO2 Roberto M. Valones on board the fire truck of Puerto Princesa City Fire Station on their way to a fire substation witnessed the killing of journalist and environmentalist Dr. Jerry Ortega on January 24, 2011. Acting beyond their call of duty, they chased the gunman riding a motorcycle along the national highway with their siren on and used the fire truck's loudspeaker to inform the public that they were chasing Dr. Ortega's gunman and must be arrested. Fortunately, the chief of police and staff of San Vicente Police Station were in the area immediately apprehended the suspect. For their contribution that led to the arrest of the gunman, both fire officers are awarded with Medalya ng Kadakilaan. Medalya ng Kadakilaan are awarded to BFP personnel of Las Piñas Fire Station, led by Senior Inspector Joel Altiwata for responding to a critical emergency involving six vehicles at Alabang Sapote Road on September 2, 2011. They were able to successfully extricate a driver and his passenger who were both severely injured. Medalya ng Kagalingan are awarded to BFP personnel of Paranaque City Fire Station, led by Superintendent Manuel M. Manuel, for the quick and efficient response that led to the rescue of three persons, including an 18-month-old baby, who were all trapped inside their burning house. Medalya ng Pagtulong sa Nasalanta are awarded to the BFP personnel of Pasay City Fire Station, led by Chief Inspector Douglas N. Guillam for the rescue and evacuation of flood victims trapped under the bridge near the Manila Bay Seaside at the SM Mall of Asia compound during the onslaught of Typhoon Pedrine on September 27, 2011. All the awardees are not just doing their jobs, they all used their instincts and relied on their trainings in these very stressful situations. They are considered heroes who take each task to heart and each life saved is a victory, not just for their team, 
but for the BFP as well. Hindi sapat ang isang araw para mabigyan natin ng kaupulang pagkilala ang kabayanihan ng ating mga bombero. Ang pigyan ng pansin ang fire safety mula sa ating mga tahanan hanggang sa mga pampublikong lugar at mapuok na ating pinupuntahan at pinagtatrabawan ay isa sa mga simpleng pamamaraan para mapangalagaan ang ating mga pinaghirapan. Maligayang bati sa mga kawani ng Bureau of Fire Protection, ipagpatuloy natin ang pagtataguyod ng matuwid na landas.